Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make ruffle scarves. My daughter Sarah, her friend Mia, and I are going to show you several easy methods of making these scarves using either a crochet hook or just your fingers. To make ruffle scarves, you'll need a special type of yarn called ruffle yarn. It almost looks like fishnet, and some look like mesh. We'll first do the method with a hook, and then we'll use the method with our fingers. You can even use a hook from a loom if you have one. For beginners, try to find a ruffle yarn that has larger fishnet holes in it like this one. Take your hook and insert it into the first hole at the top. Insert it away from you, almost towards the table. Pick up the yarn, then insert the hook into the next hole. Then, insert the hook into the next hole. Now you have three loops on your hook. Grab together the two loops that you previously made and pull them over the loop that's closest to the hook. Use the hook to keep that one loop remaining. Repeat this process. Insert your hook into the next hole and insert your hook into the next hole. You now have three loops on your hook. Take the previous two loops and pull them over the last loop you just made. And we'll do it again here. Continue this process until you are satisfied with the length of your scarf. If you find yourself struggling to hold the yarn, sometimes it helps to have someone else hold and stretch the yarn open for you while you work. Once you get to the end, you'll have to secure this last loop. Otherwise, the entire scarf could unravel. Take the hook out of the loop and cut off any remaining yarn. Use this loop and part of the fringe on the edge to tie a knot. It's a bit tricky, but if you can do this, it will help secure the end of the scarf. If you are worried your knot will come out, just put a dab or two of specialty fabric glue on the edge and let it dry. And this is what the ruffle scarf will look like. If you are concerned about the end of the yarn unraveling, some people do put a knot right at the end and cut it off. Or what they'll do is fold over the yarn and then proceed with their stitching. If you prefer to use your fingers instead of a hook, put your pointer finger through the first hole, skip a hole, then put the same finger through the next hole. Skip another hole at the top, then put your finger in the next hole. You now have three loops on your finger. Just as with the crochet hook, take the two loops over the last made loop. Repeat this process. Skip one hole, then insert your finger into the next hole. Skip a hole, insert into the next hole. Grab the two loops together and put them over the last loop. Repeat this process until you are happy with the length of your scarf. Here's how your scarf will look. Be sure to knot the end loop tightly and use a bit of fabric glue if needed. Later on in the video, I will show you another method for finger knitting. Next, Mia will be showing some scarves she made. This one is a nice purple sequins ruffle yarn. This holiday scarf is made by putting a red and a green ruffle yarn together. As you can see, the two layers were connected together. To do this, 
Match the beginning holes of both yarns together and insert your hook. Do the three loops on the hook process. But when you grab the two loops, you are actually grabbing four loops. Repeat this process until you are happy with the length of your scarf. Next, Mia found a yarn that has two colors built into it, plus a really soft and fuzzy edging connected to the fishnet part of the yarn. This next yarn is very light, soft, and fuzzy. It's a bit different to work with because there are no large holes. To work with it, first tie a knot at the end. Cut off the excess yarn. Then open up the ruffle yarn. Insert your hook along the top edge of the yarn, close to the knot. Then you'll need to estimate where to insert your hook for the next two loops. There's no right or wrong way to do this, but try to keep your loop distances consistent. And again, repeat the same way with estimating where to put your hook for the next two loops. Once you are happy with the length of your scarf, cut your yarn and knot it at the end to secure it. This next type of ruffle yarn is a combination of fabric and loops. You can fold it over if you want to secure the end or just insert your hook into the first hole. Skip a hole and go into the next hole. Skip another hole and go into the next hole. But this time, just pull one loop over your hook, leaving two loops remaining. Skip the next hole and insert your hook into the next hole. Then pull this loop through the remaining two loops on your hook. We are adding this extra step to help give it a bit more ruffle. You can repeat this process around until you are happy with the length of your scarf. Cut and secure the normal way. Now I'm going to show you how to finger knit ruffle yarn. Lay the yarn out on a table. Then take your first three fingers on one of your hands and insert the fingers into the holes of the ruffle yarn. In this one you will insert your fingers into every hole. Then take the yarn and head back the way you came from, this time putting the first hole over the pointer finger, followed by the middle finger, then the ring finger. Now take that bottom loop and put it over the top loop, taking the loop off your finger. Do this for each finger. You'll see the yarn holes starting to line up. Now, take your yarn end and go back in the other direction, inserting each finger into each hole along the yarn. Same thing. Take the bottom loop over each of the top loops and off your finger. It really doesn't matter which finger you start with. Take your yarn and come back around again, inserting each finger into each hole. You can see the yarn starting to ruffle and produce a wider scarf. And if you want an even wider scarf, you can use the four fingers on your hand instead of just the three. When you are nearing the end, take one of the single loops and put it on your middle finger. Then take the bottom loop and put it over your finger. Take this middle finger loop and put it on your pointer finger. Then pull the bottom loop over the top loop until you have just one loop on your finger. Cut the yarn, knot, and secure the scarf using the previous methods. I hope this video has helped you and please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative self-sufficient living.